What got into you in the second half? Uh, I mean, I felt like I was letting my team down the first half. I was missing some shots, and Bogey was doing a great job. And we, we were only down 10 in the halftime, and I, I knew I needed to, to make some more shots for my teammates. Did someone say something to you? Did you have a conversation with yourself in the locker room? Yeah, no, nah, nobody had to say anything to me. I, I mean, I know the work I put in, the confidence I have, and I just got to go out there and show it and, and try to uh, give it to my teammates and, and uh, just make plays. You guys did find out at halftime that Clint Capella wouldn't be back. How did that impact your mindset? Uh, it, just, it just gave us more motivation. We wanted to win for him. We know, I mean, how hard he's worked all year and wanted to get into the playoffs. And we hope he's going to be able to bounce back and soon for us. But, uh, I mean, we know we need to get this win for him, too. Going back to the playoffs now, facing Miami, with the run that you guys had last season, how much were you able to draw on that experience to close this one out? Uh, a lot, a lot. We were able to really... Uh, slow the game down. We know the last two teams we played are kind of new to the experience of being in the, the playoffs. And so it, the game kind of slows down. And uh, we've done a great job here recently of slowing down and, and uh, taking care of the, the business we need to take care of. Welcome back to the playoffs. Miami's next. Congrats. Uh, appreciate it. See you.